Umningagwa now under my firm grip, Wiknel Shiveo. On June 10, 2018, President Emerson Umningagwa said soon after touring the Nyongani Renewable Energy Solar Project in Mutoko, Meshinoland East Province, that controversial businessman Wiknel Shiveo is a candidate for Chikurubi Maximum Security Prison. Umningagwa was talking about Chiveo's scandals and his botched US$172,848,597. $6,173 million US dollars Gwanda solar deal in which he was paid $5.8 million US dollars in advance for virtually doing nothing as the project did not take off. But now the motor-mouthed buccaneering tenderpreneur says he has captured the president and has a dead man's grip on him to get anything that he wants. In a revealing leaked audio which the tenderpreneur and his paid publicists now falsely claim is a deep fake, Shiveo says Umingagwa is certainly now under his vice-like grip and control. Thus he can get anything from him that he wants. The news hawks got the audio some weeks ago, together with the documents of the corrupt 40 million US dollar Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC tender which has boosted Shiveo's dirty money. But waited to first confirm their authenticity. The leaked audio is significant as it confirms a number of key things which the news hawks already has, including Umningagwa's protection which Shiveo boasts about ad infinitum all over the place. In the audio, Shiveo gloatingly says, Dokachibite kutids v, kutids v, which means he is in full control of the situation, and the 40 million US dollar deal in particular. Shiveo relates an incident in which he escorted Umningagwa on the red carpet to his flight when he was flying to Italy for the Italy-Africa summit in Rome from 28 to 29 January 2024 which proves he is now deep inside the system. Shiveo broadly says that he has now captured, not only Umningagwa, but also the system. The news hawks understands what he means as he is not just close to Umningagwa, but many other influential politicians and high-profile officials. Shiveo is now using the ZEC money to spread his wings to other countries in the region, for instance only last week he was in Uganda to meet President Yoweri Museveni and in Tanzania to engage President Samia Sululu Hassan hunting for tenders and deals, not investment. Back to his January story, he says when he got to the airport and the runway, Uningagwa took him by the hand and said he should escort him to the flight as they talked about deals. In the process, Uningagwa told Shiveo to do at this and that, explaining their dodgy deals. Shiveo says after Uningagwa had greeted his vice presidents, Constantino Chiwenga and Kembo Mohodi. On the red carpet, he then said, I will phone you my son after landing in Italy as the plane was just about to take off. Shiveo says, I'm now deep inside, so let's take advantage of it. The businessman is close to Ningagwa and has lines of communication to the vice presidents, which explains his capture of the system narrative. In December 2023, Shiveo supplied a car and some cash to Chiwenga's wedding. To his credit, though, Chiwenga refused to indulge Shiveo on an expensive car gift which he wanted to use to capture him. Shiveo is donating cars to ZANU-PF supporters and sympathizers for political reasons and to capture them. He has spent about 3 million US dollars on cars and cash gifts to buy political support and loyalty which he then leverages for ZANU-PF and Uningagwa's patronage. Unprincipled Zimbabwean fortune hunters have got the cars and are now his loyalists. They defend their ill-gotten cars in the name of philanthropy, yet they know only too well it is dirty money, which makes them complicit to corruption. The context of the audio is that Shiveo was telling his bitter partners Moses Mbofo and Mike Chimam not to trouble him demanding payments because he had already given them 100,000 US dollars which they should enjoy while he waited for 5 US dollars. 2 million more which was due to be paid by the government. Shiveo owes Mbofu and Chimam 10 million US dollars from the ZEC deal. In a more revealing disclosure, Shiveo says there are many other deals in the pipeline which Uningagwa is going to facilitate, including some with the police and immigration. He says Mbofu and Chimam should not be scrambling for his current deal, 
the corrupt 40 million US dollars act tender while crying to have their school fees paid for them because that's nothing in the broader scheme of things. He says he is swimming in cash as he, for example, had bought a watch for a 2.2 million in South Africa just recently. As revealed by the news hawks a few days ago, Chiveo, who already has a fleet of upmarket vehicles, recently bought a, a 3.5 million Mercedes Maybach S-Class, the ultimate luxury limousine. Shiveo says he had problems with Umningagwa previously, which explains the president's 2018 Motoko speech in which he threatened to arrest him, but now things are fine and they should grab the opportunity with both hands to make more money instead of fighting each other. Shiveo preaches how Mpofu and Chimam should run their budgets, while they think of other creative means to make money, for instance taking advantage of the current drought situation to supply maize to mint cash. He says it is easy for them to do so because they can easily get advance payments as they are very close to Ningogwa, who treats them almost like his sons. He says he has many projects that he is running and has no problem paying Pofu and Chimong. Say 50,000 US dollars or 100,000 US dollars when necessary, but they should stop making noise. Shiveo says he told Victor Matienga of Exquisite Cars in Harare along Tongogara Street who is close to Mningogwa's sons. That he should give Mpofu and Chimom new cars, but they quickly rushed their shouting impatiently and that put him off. He says that they should wait, instead of making noise. Shiveo reveals that he owed Mpofu and Chimom 10 million US dollars from the ZEC deal, but had paid them 100,000 US dollars initially. The news hawks understands he paid them 200 US dollars 000 or 100,000 US dollars each. Which is what is infuriating them, given the quantum of the deal. Bofu and Chimam have written a letter to South African company Renform executive Angus Carlo complaining about how Shiveo fraudulently seized the deal and expressing their anger. Renform signed the ZEC deal with Better Brands Security Proprietary owned by Umningogwa's other close ally, Gold Baron Pedzai Scott Sakawanya. The news hawks understand Sakawanya withdrew from the deal as troublesome after a meeting in Johannesburg, South Africa, where things were discussed and agreed initially. In its first exclusive story on this issue, the news hawks quotes the letter and later published it on social media as evidence and to show how there is no honor among thieves. Further and more telling, the letter paints the bigger picture. Chiveo says he is now worth 10 times or 20 times more after the general elections last year, courtesy of the ZEC tender. This means the ZEC deal was a financial game changer for him. But the problem, he adds, is that his angry partners do not understand that and should wait because the money will gradually come. While they hunt for other tenders, Shiveo is leveraging proximity to power to make money. Only two weeks ago, he was at Tumningagwa's pre-cape farm in Sherwood, Kwekwe, Midlands province. Soon after that, Umningagwa announced that Shiveo's IMC Communications, which is based at the same offices as his Intratrek company at No. 53 Samora Marshall Avenue, Karigamam Center in Harare, had been awarded a license for Starlink services in Zimbabwe, which is a major rent-seeking opportunity. As Shiveo says, Umningagwa is now in his pocket, at his back and call for him to make money through state and government tenders and contracts. True to his character as a buccaneering tenderpreneur. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.